Hello. Welcome to this introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Networks. This is one of several videos for Linux administrators who want to know more about operating system configuration for Linux instances in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. In this video, we define and describe key concepts and terms used in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and then focus on the Virtual Cloud Network, or VCN, and a subnet. Understanding the requirements and options for configuring VCNs enables you to design and administer the communication infrastructure your applications need. To understand network creation, you need to know how the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure organizes resources. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is hosted in multiple regions, with each region in a geographic area. A region comprises several availability domains, and an availability domain represents one or more data centers located within the region. Components such as virtual cloud networks are configured at the region level. Inside these regions reside availability domains. Availability domains are isolated from each other and fault tolerant, so the failure of one availability domain typically does not impact another availability domain. When configuring cloud services, use multiple availability domains to ensure high availability and to protect against resource failure. A realm is a logical collection of regions. Realms are isolated and infrastructure data sharing is not supported across realms. Within the realm, tenancies are created and tenancies have access to all regions that belong to the realm. A tenancy is the logical management partition in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. A tenancy can be subscribed to multiple geographic regions. Signing up for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure provides you access to your tenancy. The tenancy is secure and isolated. It allows you to create, organize, and administer your cloud resources. Within a tenancy, you create one or more compartments. A compartment is a collection of related resources, such as virtual cloud networks, compute instances, and storage volumes. Compartments ensure that your users only access the resources that are needed, and access is controlled with permissions assigned by an administrator. Incidentally, when you begin working with resources in the web console, the compartment acts as a filter for what you can manage. The compartment also provides scope for any VCN. This is an important concept to understand because complex network configurations can include multiple VCNs in multiple compartments. A virtual cloud network is a virtual version of a traditional network. Many traditional administration tasks around network configuration are the same, but also drive requirements for instance operating system configuration in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. You cannot create an instance without a VCN. Create a VCN using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, Application Programming Interface, or Terraform. When you create a VCN, you can enable or disable DNS resolution as necessary. This depends on the degree of integration with other, perhaps on-premises networks. When enabled, the VCN Internal Internet and VCN Resolver will resolve host names within the VCN. When you create a VCN, the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure also creates a number of related resources, and these resources can be shared among compartments. For example, access to a specific gateway for a secure network can be configured in a tightly controlled compartment with a few people authorized to access it, but the network can be made available for use in other compartments. The IP address range for the VCN is defined by a CIDR block. For example, consider the CIDR block of 172.16.0.0/16. The range of the IP addresses that can be allocated or assigned goes from 172.16.0.0 to 172.16.255.255. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure reserves the first two and last IP addresses in the range. The VCN also offers many different ways to interconnect to other networks in the infrastructure and with your organization's networks. The Internet Gateway enables access to the public Internet. The Dynamic Routing Gateway is used to interconnect with networks outside the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. And the Local Peering Gateway is used to interconnect VCNs within the compartment. 
So, before considering the CIDR block for a VCN, you need to know the IP address ranges of other networks and VCNs to avoid overlap of IP addresses. Within the VCN, subnets are used to implement connections to and from instances in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure and elsewhere. The first consideration when planning or creating subnets is the CIDR block for the range of IP addresses. The subnet CIDR block must specify addresses within the range of the VCN. For example, a subnet CIDR block could be 172.16.1.0 24. This provides for 256 addresses, including those reserved by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The subnet CIDR block cannot overlap with other subnet CIDR blocks. Each subnet you define in the cloud network can either be a single availability domain or span all the availability domains in the region. Oracle recommends the subnet span all availability domains. A VCN with at least one subnet is required to create an instance. The subnet contains the instance VNICs, which include the primary VNIC created with the instance and any secondary VNICs created later. All instances on the subnet use the same VCN resources like the route table, security lists, and DHCP options. When you create an instance, you specify if that instance has a public IP address. A subnet must be public to allow an instance access to the public internet. Private subnets will not allow allocation of a public IP address for an instance. Further, an instance can have only private access even if it is on a public subnet. Now that we've discussed the concepts of VCN and subnets, we'll take a look at an example VCN that was created specifically for this demonstration. This video walks you through an example VCN in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and highlights key aspects of the VCN and its subnets. Understanding the organization of VCNs will help you better perform your Linux administration tasks. This VCN was created with a CIDR block range of 159.0.0.0/16 and it contains 3 subnets. All the subnets are private, and each is configured for access across the region. The subnet CIDR blocks each fall within the VCN CIDR block range, and each subnet can host up to 253 instances. Recall, three IP addresses are automatically taken by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Now, click on DHCP options in the Resources menu. Here, the DNS type is Internet and VCN Resolver. This option lets instances resolve host names for servers on the Internet and for other instances on the VCN. Click on Show to see the search domain. The search domain is a string constructed from the characters of the VCN name prepended to oraclevcn.com. Click on Virtual Cloud Network Details in the breadcrumbs to see the default VCN display. Click on Security Lists. The only security list for this VCN is the default, so click the security list name to see details. There are three rules. The first supports the use of SSH for accessing instances on the VCN. The other two rules are needed to support the instance while it runs in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Click on VCN 159 in the breadcrumbs, then click on Route Tables. Only the default route table appears, so click on the route table name. There are two route rules configured for this VCN. They are rules that allow connection through local peering gateways to two other VCNs in the compartment. Now, click on VCN 159 in the breadcrumbs, then click Subnets. Click on the name VCN 1593. Subnet details appear. Click on Show to display the DNS name. See that the DNS name contains the string VCN1593, which are the characters of the subnet name pretended to the VCN search domain. In this presentation, we defined and described essential Oracle Cloud infrastructure concepts, including regions, availability domains, and realm. 
we discussed tenancy and compartments as ways to manage access to Oracle Cloud infrastructure resources, and we introduced the concept of Virtual Cloud Network, or VCN, and VCN subnet. The discussion was followed by a demonstration in which you examined a VCN, its route rules, security list, and a subnet. For additional Linux learning opportunities, visit the Oracle Linux Learning Library at www.oracle.com slash go to slash Linux Learning Library. Training for the Oracle Linux Cloud Native Environment provides presentations on cloud native technologies. See www.oracle.com slash go to slash Linux Cloud Native Learning and see the home for all of Oracle Cloud infrastructure documentation at cloud.oracle.com. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.